but I do believe that the impact of superintendent, just like principal, um, is so great um, for a district that um, I felt it was uh, a calling for me to take this position. Dr. Marty Polio will remain the principal at Doss High School through graduation, but starting July 2nd, he'll lead the Commonwealth's largest school district. And I'll be honest, I have a lot to learn. Polio um, served as the assistant principal at Wagner High School before taking on the role as principal at Jefferson Town High. He came in my senior year, so he came in the year 2007 through 2008. Um, Emily Slicker was the student body president at Jaytown High School when the new principal called her into his office. Having never been called to the principal's office before, I was a little bit anxious. But she quickly learned polio was going to be a hands-on leader. He was always available to talk to students. He was always in the hallways, in the cafeteria during lunch. He made himself accessible to the students, which really helped boost morale with the school. While working at J-Town, Polio got called to lead Doss High School. He's out in the building all the time during the day, and he's in the building. He's present. He feels like that's where he needs to be when he's the head of a school. Beth Vandermeer has been working with Polio for 19 years. I know our district is in good hands with him at the helm, and he'll be steering us through um, the months ahead. Polio is taking over as Dr. Donna Hargens leaves the district. Her last day is July 1st. Polio will take on a district in the midst of a state audit and under criticism from state leaders, teachers, and parents. He is the right uh, person at the right time to be able to help us of our transition from moving from Dr. Hargens' leadership over to our, uh, you know, to Dr. Polio's leadership to be able to take our district to the next level.